Welcome to this training video on the Quizcom List View Plus app. The List View Plus app is a SharePoint client side web path that provides enhanced user interface and functionality when working with lists, no matter if local or remote. In this video, I will introduce how a user interacts with the app, which has already been configured. Other videos detail the configuration. I am using a modern SharePoint team site called Operations. In this site is a list called Suppliers. This list includes a number of columns of different data types. Out of the box in SharePoint, there are limited ways to present this list. I'm going to show you how the List View Plus app gives you more options to present the data. And also how it can easily be changed by a user. Here is the same supplier list in the List View Plus app. You will immediately see that the data is presented in a more consumable form. Firstly, there are different tabs which display suppliers by status. I can select items in the list by either using the checkboxes or clicking on the title field. Easy to use options become available on the top menu as items are selected. These include deleting the selected items. There is also an option on the top menu to select all items. There is also an option to export items to a CSV file. There are a number of preset menu actions but you can configure your own actions. This is also true of the item actions, which are to the right of each item. Other videos cover the configuration of actions in more detail. The first of the preset item actions is view the properties of an item. The email action will launch a new email which will include the properties from the item. And the final action allows me to open the edit form for that item. There is also the option for me to create a new item using the new item form. The great thing about the List View Plus app is it can present the same data in different ways. Here is the same supplier list, but with groupings instead of tabs. It is easy for the user to expand and collapse the groups. Filters have also been added. There is the option for a free text filter across all fields in the list or field specific filters can be added. With the option to select from predefined choices.
More advanced filters can be applied, including selecting from multiple options, or all results except a selected value. There are buttons to clear a filter or to save a filter for the current user. The filter is saved persistently, so will remain also when you close the browser. Users can also easily change the filters available by dragging a column into the filter area. The same can also be done with groups and tabs. In the List View Plus app, you are not restricted to just viewing the data in a table. Here is the same supplier list, but presented as a list of records. There are the same options for actions against each item. This example also demonstrates how paging can be used in the List View Plus app. Paging can be added whether the data is displayed as a list or a table. In this training video, I have shown you how the Quizcom List View Plus app can present data from a SharePoint list. I focused on a list in the same site but this could be a remote list in a different site. I have shown how, as an end user, I can view the data with tabs, groups and filters. Also, how actions give the user different ways to interact with the list data. Thank you for watching this training video. If you need any further information, please contact Quizcom using the details on the screen.